Hey everybody, what's going on? Dace here, and we are jumping into Standard Extreme uh, for watching the clear that I did uh, in, of course, Grey's Counter GM. Uh, so I just got this game today. Obviously this video is probably going to be out some weeks or whatever after getting it, but anyway. So I have, so far today anyway, have been having a blast with this game. Uh, as I mentioned in the last video, I did Standard Original, Hard, and Extreme, and I'm stoked to just jump into the Suicide Bullet one. I think it's called Unlimited uh, for Original, Hard, and Extreme. Um, now, as I mentioned, with there are, some, there are going to be some similarities between Hard Mode and Extreme. Uh, as I mentioned, when I jumped into Hard Mode, I had one restart during the first stage and then after that it was just fine i kind of just ripped through the run and stayed on top of everything stockpiled lives and uh, it went decent um and i think i finished that one with eight lives left uh this extreme mode th this first stage tripped me up quite a bit uh i think i probably did maybe Oh, it felt like maybe 10 or 15 restarts in this stage alone. Um, but you know what? As soon as I got through stage one, like a no no miss for the first time, that was the time that I just did the whole run. So once I figured out this level, everything else in the whole run just kind of connected for me. And I just kind of figured out how to deal with the new threats and all that. Because... In extreme mode, a lot is coming at you. Or at least it looks like it. There's a lot uh, of bullets on the screen, but obviously there's a lot of opportunity to constantly be grazing, get that graze counter going, and then your break, of course. So in that sense, you kind of, in some ways anyway, approach it the same way. But you just gotta be smarter, you gotta just be ready to, to act uh, that much more. Uh, I think that's how I can word it. Um, but, yeah, this game is just solid, solid. It's absolutely a major blast. And, uh... I'm... I'm just blown away by how... Incredible... Everything feels and looks and sounds in this game. Like, there's really nothing that I... Feel they could have done differently like it's the way I see it like it is just perfect as, as it is I like and all I mean by that is like I don't come into this game being like oh it would have been great if they did this instead like blah 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 like to me it's just yeah like they made the choices they did and it plays amazing it's just a rush it's a great challenge it gives you a lot of uh opportunity to feel engaged because of the choice making and stuff you can do with items or just how you want to play how dangerously you want to go about things uh so i i think it's just completely fine as is so getting used to like those blue guys coming in from the sides for instance getting used to stuff like that um it's not overly threatening but when you know there's a lot of other stuff coming your way uh Stuff like that can kind of just pose an issue if you're not careful. But as you can see, like I'm, I'm just constantly going from charging, firing the thing off, pretty much as soon as I need to, and which is pretty much right away because of how much stuff is here. It's just wild, but I love it. And you know, it's interesting because there are some games where, like some new games anyway, that look like they're going to be really awesome and then they just end up not doing anything for me. Which is fine too, because I'm not going to click with every game to the degree that I click with certain games. That's just how it is. But... It does mean that when you come across a game like this where you just love it, it's that much more uh, special. It's just something you really cherish. Oh, 
Like, just look at this. So cool. And there, there are quite a few instances throughout this run, not like I could really point out every single one because it happened frequently enough, but times where I wasn't even paying attention to my graze counter meter. It's just like... And it's not that I'm saying like, oh, I'm pressing it every few seconds just in case it's ready, but there were plenty of times where I'm just in the thick of it. There's There are bullets all over the place, all around me. I feel like I'm about to take a hit, and I'm just like, okay, this thing better be ready right now because we need it. Holy smokes. Uh, and <laughs> it, it's just a... It's such a unique experience to be in because unlike most games where I put a lot of time into learning uh, because they're just very difficult, this one, it doesn't exactly, or at least in this mode so far, um, like a game where it doesn't take you days or weeks uh, to clear. It's not that the game isn't hard or isn't challenging, but... Um, yeah, there's just, there's just something about it. That was a fumble right there. For, for some reason, I think I just thought I would be invincible. I have no idea what was going on. And I lost my train of thought, so whatever. Um, but he's toast, so that's fine. But yeah, I think more or less what I was getting at was... It kind of... It does say something when you can just rip through a whole bunch of the difficulties, even the hardest on standard, uh, the first day you get it. So that says to me, okay, it's not so much about needing to learn a lot, like some games. Uh, but that doesn't mean it's any less fun either. Uh, I enjoy a balance when it comes to what I play, and it's really, really refreshing coming into this, because currently, at the time of this recording, I am just super deep into like, being very strict with how I break down Rolling Gunner. Like, I'm actually putting serious time and energy into just figuring things out to optimize a route that works for me. And uh, that takes a lot of time. So it is really nice just being able to jump into something like this for a casual experience. Uh, I totally messed this up. I didn't realize she was going to have that many lasers on extreme mode, but... That's what it is. Anyway, so... Sprays like that are kind of hectic. I, I took some really unnecessary hits this time around in this, in this fight. I wasn't counting, I, I didn't look at my lives, but I, I feel like I lost, yeah, I'm not sure, three or four. So it was during this fight where I kind of thought, like, oh, man. Like, a lot can happen. I know I'm going to get a bunch more lives, so even though I'm only at six plus one right now, um, it's not out of the question that I could clear this, but... Yeah, that felt that boss fight felt like a big hit for sure to my resources. And it's interesting I have yet to go to those other stages that you can choose to uh, route your way to. Uh, there's just something about this one that I really enjoy so far. I think I just like being up in the clouds. And there were some, yeah, fairly poor decisions made in this. Like, just stuff like that where it's like, why did I just go closer and closer to the thing until I took a hit? And then taking another hit right there. I'm at, yeah, it's like, this, this is when I was really starting to think, oh my god, this run is probably going to, like, if this keeps up, if this is how the whole stage is going to go, I'm going to have no lives by the end of this stage. It's going to be ridiculous. 
But one thing you always, always got to remember is you are never out of the run until it's actually over. And that's the exciting thing, too. You just got to trust in yourself and trust in the the process and the resources and your your own abilities, of course. Like, parts like that. Oh, man, I just... <laughs> give me the charge and let me get out of here. This is a really cool boss. I love those those jets. Just super pointy. I'm not sure much about the like I haven't looked into the creators of this game or if they've done other things like that, but man, when I think about how good this game is, I can only imagine what other shmups they could produce. Like this is quality. That attack is nasty when you're not expecting it. Which I wasn't, but I made it through anyway. Man, on to the last stage. Everything boils down to this. Holy, 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 holy smokes. Because I know how messy the, like the the final final boss fight is. I know how messy that can be for me sometimes. So when I'm seeing <laughs> the current lives that I have right now. It, uh, yeah, y oh yeah. I'm not even sure what to say. Like it's not that I, yeah. I'm not sure how to word it. Like it's not that I don't think. I can do it, but I think when you have so few lives, you kind of just think, oh my god, like, what is going to happen? I think there's just this kind of uh, excitement, or there's this kind of um, feeling of just wondering what's going to happen, seeing how things play out, but also at the same time, when you're in a, a situation like this, I always find that... When I start fumbling, or when I'm low on resources or lives or what have you, there's... I think there's just a part of you that knows, okay, you need to start playing much, much better. You cannot afford to take hits for this boss that's coming up or this section that you usually struggle with. Like, you just have to shift into this mode of playing better. You gotta push yourself in those times. Like, that's just chaos. I love it. That is so wild. And it's, it's sections like that where you know they have done a very good job figuring out the mechanics that work well, putting them together, and everything being balanced. Oh, I just love it. And I cannot get over the pixel art. Like the sprite work here for a lot of these enemies and like the orangish yellow ones that we just took down moments ago. Like designs like that are just so cool. I was so thankful to come out of that. Holy. The only thing I'm grabbing is that extend. What a wild game. I 
cannot get over this game. So sometimes in situations like this, like whether it's this game or another game, I would prioritize just dodging as long as I can before firing off anything, uh, like hyper mode or that kind of stuff. Um, but in this situation, it just makes more sense to use everything as early as you can. As soon as it's ready, just start unleashing it because the faster you bring this down, the better. Crazy. So, going into this, I was like, okay, I just really got to avoid those crystal block um, like, lines or formations. Because somehow, like, <laughs> no matter what, I always seem to run right into one of them. Like, right there, it's like, what? Like, I could see it coming down. Like, what was I doing? I don't even get it. But I'm trusting that that's the last one in this fight. Uh, the last one I take a hit to, anyway. Oh, man, oh, man. Like, almost. But at least I didn't get nailed by the lasers there. Oh, and that was just... Ri oh, my God. Like, oh my god. I had to have been thinking, like, where are all these lives going? Like, what is going on here? And just like that, I'm down to so few. And only halfway. This is one of those moments where I'm thinking, okay, like, we can do this. We just need to not keep taking hits, because it's going to be over just like that. I was not going to hit that one. Oh my god! Oh my god. There goes my shield. At this point I know, okay, we can do this, it's happening. We just need to charge up as much as we can, not get hit by all this stuff flying all over the place. It's just chaos, I love it. And there we go. So anyway, that was, <laughs> that was a blast. I had a lot of fun watching this and uh, sharing just a bit of the experience and just the difference between hard mode and original and that and um oh yeah it's fantastic but yeah just when you make it past the first stage i just had that sense of okay i know what to do we're gonna go and do it now um and see how things go so anyway let me know what you think down below thank you so much for checking this out have an awesome day and we will see you next time